What's going on everyone? It's me, Giga Chad, Alex the Rambler here, and today we're only back on Hearts of Iron 4, and I'm doing another video on the WW1 mod, because the last one ended in utter failure, and I've just had failure after failure after failure so far in 2023, and I say no more! In the previous video, you'll see that Austria-Hungary screwed me over. So today I'm going to play as them and show the world that they can actually be competent. If I lose this one, I'm... Oh. So, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Leave a super thanks or become a channel member too. Oh my god. <laughs> the days of YouTubers not trying to promote stuff. It's over. January. Adrev 2023. It's the dark days. So here we go, 1910, bish bash bosh, let's jump in. We're going to be playing Austria-Hungary, the cheeky chappy, Franz Joseph himself. I know I've played this dude in this mod before, I think. But hey, we've got to worry about the South Slavs, the Hungarian opposition, and the... Oh, well, that's good. But yeah, is that... I read that as a vegan state then. Huh. But here we go, and we start off as a chonky boy. Uh, if you don't know what World War One is all about, you should probably take a look in a book, or give it a Google. Historical AI is staying on. Oh, I should also say that this is going to be the channel's 10th anniversary this year. Uh, I created Alex the Rambler in 2013, and we're still going 10 years later. So just a quick thank you to everyone for sticking around and, and, and continuing to make this a possibility for me to do full time. It's a uh, thank you. Uh, we'll have to try and think of some stuff to do for the 10th anniversary. Got any ideas? Leave a comment. Okay, but early on, Austria-Hungary, what do I want to focus on? I think increasing our production cap, our construction speed, and... Jeez, it's like I'm running on Windows Vista sometimes. And uh, motorized, I, I want motorized. We'll need decent supply for our troops, and then we're just going to start working on civilian economy uh, to begin with. It's tempting to go down and start doing all of these uh, right away, but we're actually going to go ahead and do our industrial focuses, I think, first, as I do want extra uh, factories. Ten military factories. I'm also going to go down uh, and actually cancel most of these naval naval production. Uh, Navy will be a important aspect of our playthrough here. I didn't do this on my practice run last night, but I'm going to go for armoured cars this time. I'm changing my tactics on the fly. I don't think that's ever gone badly for me before, so let's get your act together. We will be just fine. i tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want a good army. Uh, I'm deleting 24 divisions. I know it's pretty dumb and I'm changing these over to infantry divisions, but you, you, you'll see there's a method to the madness. We've got a few years to build up before what? So shouldn't be a problem because as Austria-Hungary, we kind of need to watch out for Italy, Serbia, uh, there's also Romania and Russia. Okay, factories right away. However, because of the various... Yeah, the Czech Parliament balls. That's going to affect our consumer goods for a while, but it, it, it's going to help to have a strong base of factories as we go along. As we go along, as we prepare, we will do it. Uh, I also want to start getting army XP and navy XP pretty zippity quick, so we're probably going to go for the army offensive, actually, rather than just be completely passive. I should just be able to hold most places fairly simply through my <laughs> genius. You know, I just love these these World War One mods. Like, if there are any World War One games that you can think of that I haven't played before, please do let me know. What? Uh, and if there are any other games like Hearts of Iron Four, are there any games like this that aren't made by Paradox? That's kind of set in World War Two, and you can do stuff like this. I'd love to see if there are other titles like like this around. Because like I've had my ups and downs with Hearts of Iron before, but it, it honestly is a game that's you know, completely changed my life. So I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you get to play a game that's actually had so much kind of growth as well. Since it's released, it's only ever grown in audience. Every time a new expansion comes out, it usually reaches a new kind of all-time high for users. Six years after it came out. Like, the longevity of this game is absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the Kriegs, Kriegs Marina and get extra docks. Dock ah, nah, that's 140 days at the moment. I'm not in desperate need for those. Let's integrate Bosnia. Oh, Franz Joseph, he'll show the world. 
right? Recon armoured cars in our infantry divisions. Why not? Oh, oh no, I think I want Horthy in charge of the navy. There we go. Do some naval exercises, start racking that in. Very good, very good. Decided to go ahead and uh, increase my Skoda works to help increase the amount of uh, stuff I'm producing. Because I'll need more howitzers than that. May as well trade for rubber. Uh, I'm actually surprised at the amount of oil that we have, but then we have the oil fields in the uh, Carpathians, so that's very tasty. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to have a great battleship. Yes. Just one, thank you. Army logistics and logistics companies are going to help us out an immense, uh, an immense amount when we can get them. Uh, we just need to... Supply is an issue for us, and it, and it will continue to be so. So we need to work on logistics. Now, what I did before was the historical route. I did the national question, but I don't want to do exactly the same playthrough that I did off camera. Let's go for Ventralingings Dadatan. So in terms of the Landstrom divisions, I'm also going to kind of make them a 10 combat width and just use these for defense. Although it's honestly interesting just to maybe use the Mountaineers that we can get. Uh, ooh, I, I... Alex, you got three years. Stop worrying, man. Just want to show the world what a Giga Chad I am, you know? Okay, deal with Italy or <laughs> or deport the Italians. Um, well, I know they're going to betray me anyway. So, goodbye. Like, we know they're... We know what they're going to do. I think it's got to be this fella. Look at his moustache. And I definitely want artillery expert for that fella. Yes, please. I know it's expensive to get this uh, Sigmund Freud fella in, but might as well, eh? Sigmund Freud gives 15% stability. Ah, <sighs> good old Sigmund. So <laughs> I want a... <laughs> I know this is dumb, but I, I just want something that's going to uh, just basically sink from the amount of guns it has. 18 kilometers an hour. So most battles will be over before that bad boy's even in. Yeah, let's remove that. Let's let's try and keep it 20 kilometers an hour, shall we? Oh. <laughs> 1921 before it's done. Ouch. There we go, 1915, 1915, and then we'll just go ahead and buy more chromium to get that down to 1914. There we go. Sports time. So, uh, autonomy Croatian region. Hmm. Why not? Yay, look, I made a Lyria. We made a Lyria, everyone. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Let's expel Italy from the Triple Alliance. I'm going to get a claim on Venice. Why not? I'm kind of rushing down Italy. Okay, so uh, we've got a war to do. Let's see if Italy's got any balls. You got any balls there, son? Let's call Germany in as well. I could use some help against Italy. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Germany. I would love to take your contingent of troops. Shall we see how our divisions fare against the Italians? Better than I thought they'd be, honestly. Um, okay. Well, let's let's see if we can just do a push. Oh, this may decide the fate. Uh, it looks like they're trying to retreat, though, because we have a lot of the support of the German navy. Did I win that one? Did I? What? What? The Italians don't have equipment, so if I can just grind them down with my kind of elitish force, then uh, we may have a shot. Really? Just a bit annoying that we can't seem to catch their fleet and really hunt them down, but the, the XP that you gain from it is broken. No idea if that's going to... Oh, it did launch. Wow, they have like no equipment up here. Can I, can I take this air zone then? So far I've taken one tile at the cost of 30,000 men, so it's not... <laughs> it's quite accurate to World War. World War One at the moment. Oh dear. We're only in 1912 though. It's only 1912. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just develop the railroads. Like, I don't really mind being at war. This isn't really a problem for me at the moment. I'd rather keep get one of my flanks secure before I try and take out... Uh, or try, Before World War One is, is likely to begin. That's what the aim here was going to be. Because then I'm just going to send in all 17 divisions here. Now we've got our little landing. Let's try and cut them off. You've got to just go, mate. You've got to go with all the Germans. Oh, yeah. Naval liaison. Oh, that's great. He's an invader. He got the invader trait. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Beautiful. And then I should probably do another offensive up here just to try and stop them from spreading. Got to show the competence of the Austro-Hungarian army. In action. What, what? And then I'm going to transition to mills, I think. We need more for the armed forces if we're going to have a proper war. A proper war, not one against Italy. The fools just need to try and take the local supply in Boulogne if we can. We're losing a couple of destroyers. Uh, oh, big battle. Damn, the Italians are just trying to retreat and it's very hard to like pin them down so they can't get away. Ah, we did take Boulogne. Very nice. And I've just maxed out my 
naval doctrine in 1913. Pretty nice. Okay, we've been grinding, so now he's an infantry expert. Extra 10%. Actually, grinding against Italy isn't maybe necessarily a terrible idea. There we go, but we're attacking in from the south now, and I think that offensive is going to go quite nicely. Ah, the fall of Venice has happened. Well, good. But yes, if the... Ah, do you know what? I'm not, I'm not unhappy about splitting up my territory. I know it looks cursed, but this is how we keep our country together. And via conquest, of course. Can we take Napoli? I think we're going to end up taking a lot of the nation now, just from... Uh, Kind of coming in from the from the sair. Doing the old encirclements, you know what I mean? Good lord, am I becoming chavvy? I'm just very conscious that we're almost in 1914 and I'm still a, and I'm still a kind of I was in a stalemate up until recently. Can you get to Rome before they try and stop you? Damn. Oh. I guess we'll just encircle them. Come on. Please! I know I don't have any equipment left, but please! <laughs> oh, they lost Rome, although we're about to lose that division that took Rome. I'm okay with that though. Oh, thank you for the one convoy. I really appreciate you, Croatia. You're, you're coming in clutch there. Nat. Oh, that's a nice victory there. Yeah, they should probably repair, though. Military cooperation with Germany. Why the heck not? We want to have uh, good relationships with our allies. Even though I'm just trying to conquer a former one. But, you know, they started it. Probably. There we go. I think we've finally broken them. It took me two years, but I think we've finally broken the Italian spirit. I only lost 104,000 troops. Worth it. German volunteers? Yes, please. I definitely need the German volunteers. We need their equipment. <laughs> oh, we survived! Franz Ferdinand! Yes. Yes, God saved Austria-Hungary from great tragedy. He lived. Oh, wow. He's got so many freaking upgrades now. He's a level 7 admiral. Go on, Horthy. Go on, son. And now I think it needs to be the end for Italy. And their pitiful little band. I really hope they surrender if they lose most of their mainland. Although, you know, because they're absolute donkeys, they will probably not. But their entire army is now encircled. Like, what are they going to do? You have no power here. Oh, yes. anti riscomentiento Oh, I've, bro <laughs> I've broken them. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so I, I completely broke them up, and now they're all- are they all puppeted under- oh, I got all their navies! Go on, son! We've got the two Sicilies, Sardinia, Piedmont. We've got the Papal States, that Pope don't look happy, pious. Yeah, we've got them all! We've completely just, just destroyed Italy. Yes. There we go. So I only actually have, like, 24 divisions, uh, which isn't the best. But also, World War One is yet to happen, and we now have Italy. <laughs> as a firm ally and puppet. Man, everything's coming up Franz Joseph Ferdinand. I just need a functioning army now. Wouldn't that be nice? I actually feel really strong now. Even though my army is tiny, I have so many little puppets that I can just get them to do my bidding. Dance, little puppets. Okay, I think that I think that war was worthwhile. Oh, do I give... Yeah. Go on then, become crown land. I really am just becoming a rather decentralized empire here. But uh, we must do what we must in order to survive. We must start a committee. I don't think anything's really going on in the world. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's just Mexico. All right. Well, how do we start World War II? Could I even get... I can't get any more. No. I was hoping to get some more Mountaineers, but I would think I would need to research expanded special operations for that. So we'll do... We'll go ahead and do that. And... I would like to increase my, like, armor piercing, etc, etc. But this is my rapid response force. So they can, they can travel across to any part of our border that may need protecting. Logistics companies too are lovely. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Now, I wonder, can I still, uh... Oh, no, he's upgraded as much as he can be. He's not. There we go. Increase division attack. He's also a mountaineer too. We've got a field marshal mountaineer. Ah, oh, that wets my whistle. Shall I do the autonomy? Transylvania, Eh? The Hungarian People's Republic. And then I'll be known as the Austrian Empire. Duh. I am... Um, no. Hungary's staying with me. You're not getting out of it that easily. I'm a bit surprised. Oh, they do already have the claims. And they're befriending Holland. So I would hope that they're going to do war with France soon. But in the meantime, let's just keep preparing. Uh, that's all I can do now. That Illyrian fella is looking way too happy about the focus that he's doing. Doctor. Oh yes, tank prototype designs, which means tanks are unlocked. Yes. 
basic medium tank, shall we go ahead? Even though it's... Yes. Man, I'm really lacking the steel here. That's, that's not good. I gave away most of my resources to the... Oh, wait. I could just be trading with them for basically no factories, right? Yeah. Always trade with your subjects first. Get whatever you can out of people, you know? Because I've got enough resources here. I could get more steel. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Germany. Please declare war. Otherwise, I'm just going to add tension and do it manually. If it gets to the end of 1916 and World War I has not happened, I will do it myself. I think we'll be ready for whatever the French have to throw at us, especially when we have a maximum of that 88% defensive combat bonus. Wow. We can get a couple more Mountaineers as well. Lovely. So... World tension appears to be something that doesn't exist, so I think I may tag in to Germany and get them to do the focus of... Oh. So they need 1.8 million men in the field to do this, and they have 1.4. Oh my days. So they can't even do war with France? Guess we gotta wait? I think that's a dumb amount of manpower in the field. So I guess I'm waiting unless I just add tension because I, I can't actually justify on anyone. I have no focuses that allow me to do that. Yeah, nothing. Disappointed is the word. Oh, go on. So France just did it. Why? What did they? I wonder, I wonder what France did. Um, ah, revenge of his propaganda. And then, yeah. Okay, so it's actually France as the warmonger. So um, hashtag blame France. Okay, so he's going to go up to this border, I guess. Because so Romania hasn't been called in, so I do want some divisions just to plop down in case Romania gets any ideas. I think my navy's okay as it is. We will just do call to arms now. I don't know how many troops they have there. Just look at all of these chads. Oh, was cited for continued action and in the Alpine region offensive operation. Yeah, so people have been like, a lot of these troops have actually, they are our hardened veterans. And what happens if I just throw them into the meat grinder? Nothing, apparently. Oh, right, I have to call them in. Yeah, 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 that would help. They have almost a thousand defense. Ouch, 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 owie, owie, owie. But if I can push them from up to the top there, I think we may have a chance. Okay, uh, everything's going balked. Like, I can't stop my... Is that my troops doing the offensive there, or is that Germany? Ah, okay. I guess I'll just go on the unprotected tile. We're through. What are you doing, man? There's clearly, like, a priority route that you need to try and go and secure the supply. Yeah, my troops are like, <laughs> Go! I, I don't understand why my units are being passive when, when they have aggressive. Like... It's fine. Just totally and utterly swarm them. There we go. See, we've broken through again. See, it can happen because the French are incompetent. Okay. So we did actually spread. Uh, and that's given me absolutely zero supply because the railroads aren't connected. There we go. So the supply should solve because it, we recently took it. So I think it takes a few days to get supply. But once we have more supply, I think we're gravy. We're golden. My divisions are, if you're wondering, this is my base infantry template. It's not overly fancy, but I think it's all right. Does the job. Nicely job. Nicely job. Nicely job. Jubbly bubbly boo. Oh, it's so, it's so satisfying when your divisions, like you do a decent build and it, and it works. Looks like Germany's holding on. I didn't even call Galice, Galicia in. Might as well, actually. Because what, what are the Russians going to do here? They, they can't do anything, so we're obviously going to attack. Yeah, they have nothing to threaten me with. Their divisions are terrible. Like, I have machine guns and, they're, and they've got the cavalry there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? Is there anyone there, Russia? We just knock on the door and the whole rotten system comes down. Is that... Except it's a system that I am also part of, being a Kaiser. Oh, Franz Ferdinand! Okay, yeah, so the Austro-Hungarian offensive appears to be going quite well up here. And uh, we're making gains. We're making gains. What's Russia up? Uh, <laughs> Oof. Oh, we're actually in the winter. I think we're just going to wait. Bide our time for a little while before we push into Russia a bit more. I mean, Germany's just going to go ahead and hopefully crush them. Looks like the French have actually kind of sorted out their emergency situation. So I think Germany's got a decent amount of troops there. So I may just try and F up Belgium or Luxembourg. Yeah, let's try and uh, have an influence on this flank here. Romania joins the Entente. I knew it. Yes, I like this model of tank. Very nice. Let's, <laughs> let's uh, create a little armoured division, I guess. Or start working on it. Yeah... There comes Romania, but at the same time, is that Bulgaria? 
Yeah, Bulgaria's gonna help. So if I lose the occasional tile here, I think it's okay if I get forced back a little bit. The supply here is is absolutely horrible. Oh no, we have an epidemic in the army. Uh, I mean, I... Let's just get them to attack anyway. I think we'll be able to push them on the occasional tile. I think I'm gonna throw everything I have against Russia. I'm gonna withdraw everything over to the Eastern Front. We're going for the big gamble. And I will also let them... Uh, just, 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 just move out. Move out of the tile. Move out of the tile. There you go. There you go. Let, let our allies take the pain for us while we get the victory. So, a little while longer, and I'm kind of regretting not just doing a regular World War One. Because <laughs> this is pretty grim at the moment. Uh, I just need to wait. How am I still getting a deficit? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm lacking steel still. Oh, God. Just got to rely on all of them. Just throwing men away. I look at France, 1.5 million casualties. It's brilliant. Oi! Oh, I didn't have to do anything for that. Oh, my allies just did it for me. Oh, praise be to my allies in this one occasion. You did it. You did it, lads. I didn't have to waste anything on it. I just held the line. Kind of feel like if I actually helped this offensive at the moment, we could really just help push down. There we go. Even though we're lacking guns, we've got bodies. Can't wait to get my tanks in action. They may have to go up to like... Oh! May try and crush Luxembourg with tanks. Try and help push the British back that are just keeping Russia alive. I mean, luckily for me, the British can't get any supply around here at the moment. Um, so that's very cool. Wait, wait. Oh, my rubber. Give me the rubber, Germany. Oh, it's more expensive now. <laughs> oh, I just want my little tanky. No idea what's going on here, but it just looks horrible, and I want I really want no part of it, honestly. Looks like the Ottomans are getting pushed, but Russia's also in a state. Ugh, yeah, the Ottomans are not in a good good way. And having the influenza pandemic at the same time. Oh, the Germans getting pushed back. No. Let's deploy the tanks. Yes. Uh yeah, let's do mass vaccination. War propaganda against the UK as well. Uh, I think I'll censor the news. Uh, let's close educational institution. Uh, yeah, let's introduce martial law in cities. Let's take the pandemic seriously. Oh, they've broken through. Belgium's broken through in the north. Belgium has broken through in the north. This is not a drill. Oh, God. Okay, you know what, Russia? Forget it. I need to go. Let's get <laughs> all of our remaining troops. This went so much better on my practice run, by the way. Get them to the front line. They've got the soft attack from the uh, armoured divisions. I don't think they'll be able to stop them. Are we losing any tanks? We did actually lose 25 in combat. So they are able to... Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm going to keep pushing with these. Force attack with the tanks. I know going across a river is not going to be very good. I'm getting tunnel vision. I don't like this, but I have no choice. They don't have any tanks. So this is where we're able to kind of really use our strength here. There we go. Got a really nice encirclement of the tanks there. Again, uh, our infantry and tanks cannot be stopped. Ooh, the French are starting to pump out tanks. Okay, doing something potentially very stupid. But again, we need to do whatever we can to just blitz them. Uh, we're running out of time. I think our tanks finally managed to destroy Luxembourg. Very cool. Very cool, tankers. If only I had 10 more divisions like you. There we are. We're through. What's our deficit looking like? bad <laughs> it's looking bad this whole damn game i haven't been able to freaking get any war economy that's bad come on oh you know when you get to like 99 percent and then someone comes in right at the last freaking minute and steals all your goddamn fun that's the great war mod in 1919 the belgians even have freaking divisions how there we go. Encircled some Belgians. Oh. Uh. Yeah, the Ottoman Empire is dead. Uh, so... <laughs> I can't believe I balls this again. I have to say, thank you. Thank you to the... Oh, the tanks aren't even in the battle. Well, we're still going to try and get the tanks to attack Brussels and succeed. I think once the tanks are in battle and they have force attack, they, they tend to do okay. It's just the, the amount of enemy reinforcements and the lack of... Tapalai really affects the ability to have a good amount of combat. So, slow. 
Strength of tank, dead. Took it though. <laughs> and it appears here I am uh, kind of annihilating the British. Holy! What's happened to... What's happened to Germany? Oh. Like, the French look like they have barely any equipment left. So maybe if I just hold off on all offensive operations, just try and clear up whatever this is, and just try and hold for now, I think. And probably bring our allies back into the fold, maybe. I'm just very conscious that I am very low strength in, honestly, most aspects. But hey, World War One just going on into the 1920s. You gotta, you gotta give it to the, the amount of people giving their lives. Virtual people. Oh, the August Revolution. Yes. Yes, let it implode. Let Russia implode. That's what we need. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I can just get a whole, like, tank core together, I reckon I can finish this scenario. But we need the tankers. I have just got a new upgraded, uh... I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like much, but uh, that's what we're going to get. Just biding our time at the moment, really. Mopping up where we can. Sorry, Canada. These mountains are a bad place to be. But I think that was a lot of the British military trapped. Yes! Bolshevik coup. We just had to wait. There we go. I'm hoping they have a lot of divisions, Soviet Russia. What have you got for me? That'll do. God, what an epic video this is turning into. So many twists and turns. Soviet Russia. Ah, uh, coming in clutch. So, Ukraine has been freed. Looks like we're going to be able to dedicate a lot more over to the Western Front now that Russia's collapsed. Ah, oh, it's so nice just having to just outweight them for a little bit before you just go in for the for the clutch win. Giggity giggity goo. There we go. Let's see if we can push in to Belgium once again. No, apparently not. Apparently my tanks are terrible. Why aren't they all going? Oh. Come on, fellas. There we go. I'm presuming my armor division should be, like, just punching through with a heart attack. Come on. There we go. Brussels has been taken with the tanks. So, can I get any supply? The German Empire seems unstoppable. It's me! I did the attack, you... It was all me! And I get none of the credit. Germany's stealing my thunder. I've done everything. Do you even have a tank, Germany? Do you even have a tank? Bet you don't, lazy <laughs> We've capitulated Belgium. Looks like we've got this area, sort of. Gotta go fast. There we go. Just push through tanks. You can do it. You gotta believe. How? Do you believe, my little tankies? Do you believe you can destroy the French? The Ludendorff offensive. Okay. Have they pushed through again? How? Oh god, I, I hate I hate fighting around here. Absolutely hate it. This has been such a ball ache. This whole damn game. Okay. So I've been holding the whole line. My allies are like, nah, let's just leave him. Very cool. Allies. Need to get my allies to give me their divisions. It's become that desperate. We actually punch through. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They freaking lost it. They've lost the plot, the French. The French have lost the plot! Woo! How? I am so irritated with the British. Go on, France. Time for you to crumble, mate. Okay, Lille has been taken, I think. I hope I can Dunkirk them. I've done this several years early. Could you imagine if I lose this now? I'd be so angry. Go on. There we go. And then the UK is just gonna die? Go on. Tanks push across. Oh, they got crushed in Calais. Oh, at last. At last. The Entente surrenders. It happened. No wonder when two of their cores just get absolutely encircled and trounced. Did we take Paris? It, even Paris was taken. Yes. Woo! Ah. I wonder what we'll get. Let's see. Yes, we've got a few days before the Frankfurt Conference. The Frankfurt Treaty. For God's sake. I'm really happy I actually decided to go for tanks. We only managed to get a few units of them. And I'm still in a def <laughs> deficit. But we won. We won. What's this? War. Central powers remain strong. Oh, Ukraine's in the central powers. Very cool. Am I not even going to get a single pop-up for this conference? I'm going to be so irritated if that happens. Come on. The conference was completed. And I've arrived at a new age. Did... 
Did I? Are you serious? I didn't get anything for my time. Well, that's a bit of old poop, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Germany gets everything. And I'm left with, this is what I get. Am I a joke to you? Yes, it, it, I, if I could, I definitely would. But like, there's no way. Oh, Ludendorff is in command. All right. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. We survived. Austria, Hungary puppeted all of Italy. And we kind of... Uh, a bit of uh you know break up here but we're still together we're still together so if you've enjoyed seeing this please do comment like and subscribe glory to the austro-hungarian tank divisions and i'll be back with more very soon ta-da many thanks to the patreon cult leaders amazon fulfillment strategist dr fotska and jack troku and many thanks to the patreon champions chancellor 64 hegu jiggly crotch kim eric carlson logan whaley rick baller vash wyatt green zachariah mosby and maximilian foreman and many thanks to all the other patrons too you really do help keep the channel going thank you